Law enforcement across the state struggling now to fill vacant positions. But smaller sheriff's offices are being spread especially thin. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis has spent the day with the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office and shares how these unfilled positions could negatively affect the services they're called to provide. Nobody wants to be a cop anymore. It used to be a dream of, of kids, now it's, it's a nightmare. Sergeant Kelly Strange has been serving as a sheriff's deputy for more than five years. Recently, he's seen interest in the law enforcement field decrease. We just don't have people applying. Duties like patrolling, school security, court coverage, and correctional responsibilities are all services needing to be covered by the county's law enforcement. But as of late, those services have been a lot harder to provide. We're having to call deputies in to work overtime for uh, shift shortages, um, and that wears them out as well. And then we're, we're really almost in crisis mode. Right now, the office has 51 deputies, but is in need of 50 more to properly operate. Patrol services have been the most affected. Uh, right now, we're running three. We're running three deputies for 612 square miles. So that district now might cover a whole half of a county you know, they might get a call almost in uh, Etowah County and the next call will be almost in Talladega County. Sheriff Wade says eight deputies are what he'd like to see on daily patrol routes to help reach that goal. He's made changes to make the profession more appealing. We let them have beards. We've given them ball caps. Uh, we've done different things. We've loosened up uh, on some on some policies like tattoos. Wade says it will take financial help from his local and state leaders to truly get qualified applicants into the sheriff's office's door. We're asking for professional services where we're taking people's freedoms, possibly their lives. The standard's platinum. We need to make sure that we bring the uh, level of pay closer to that platinum levels to the day labor rates. That was Kyra Purvis reporting. The Calhoun County City Council, or rather Calhoun County Commission, recently increased the hourly pay for sheriff's deputies by 86 cents. But Sheriff Wade says he believes it will ultimately take state leaders to make more permanent solutions to this shortage.